English country. I'm feeling like just getting out on the water and spending time fishing. Thank you, Father, for that. And now, Father, we ask you to bless the food that we're about to take out. Use it for the nourishment and strengthening of our bodies. Okay, who's here first time? Anglers. First time anglers. Hold your hand up. Thank you. You're welcome. Paralyzed Veterans of America has been around for over 70 years. We're one of the original veteran service organizations. It was started with six veterans that came back from Warwick's spinal cord injuries who were basically told that they wouldn't be able to make it but so long in our society because of their injuries. So they put the Paralyzed Veterans together, organized it, six chapters started with it, and then it grew into what it is now to 32 chapters. We pull that, pull that first boat up, we'll haul a driver and somebody volunteer to get in. So I just keep it rolling. I, well, I would say everybody needs to at least try to be there by five o'clock. These guys have been doing it for nine years, so they're pretty experienced at it. And basically they do the operational pieces of it and then bring in the boat captains and then help recruit the anglers. We do have a lot of experienced anglers who have gone from series to series for years, but we have a lot of novices too that fish our tournament. That's ultimately our main goal. We want to be able to maintain our veteran anglers and even, you know, it's an all-inclusive event. So we have disabled anglers in here too who aren't veterans and that's very important to know. Jump up to a quick line wheel check. We hope to oh, yeah, I'm in there. Do you want me to take it? This is my second year, and it's I mean, it's the first time I came down, it's just very humbling, and it never changes. It's it's very humbling. I mean, people that can't get in and out of stuff and do stuff, going out and fishing, I I love it. I mean, it's it's dear to my heart. It's always a, a different uh, different change every time you come down here because you're always meeting somebody new and uh, treat them like you treat yourself. We joke with them, and for the most part, they, they joke right back. They'll give it right back to you. Yeah. <laughs> My, my favorite story is a, a man who had no use of his legs and no use of his left arm and limited use of his right. And you could just see the fear on his face as we loaded him up that morning. And when he come back that evening, uh, he hadn't caught but two tiny little old fish, but he was just beaming with pride. He, he, had, he had slayed that dragon. Uh, it was uh, you know, it's my favorite story to tell about this place. I have a buddy, uh, Jesse Thomas, which is a, uh, he actually helps the veterans. He does uh, medical work for them for his power chairs, repairs, ramps, things like that. And he was involved and he asked me if I'd like to, you know, volunteer my time in my boat and immediately it was like, yes. <laughs> and, you know, as soon as this turn is over today, I'll be excited about it again for next year.
biggest fish yeah. and the most fish. We're going to snug that hook. We're sharing the other rules. We're new here. It should be a great day. This is the best dock you could possibly find on the bank. So you're not going to find a better bank fish than spot. So I think typically when you get a fish, you all fish on, somebody will come help you with a net. Right. Patience is key. Which I'm sure we all have patience. Nick, Nick will do the weighing. On the end of this dock, it looks like it's the same length as last year. These tournaments mean so much to the people who fish them. Um, you'll hear stories from them saying that adaptive sports in general have saved their lives or have helped get them into a better place because a lot of times when you're injured it's a three-year process typically between three and five years for you to get to a spot where you're able to accept your injury and then how you're going to live your life with that injury it doesn't have to change we just adapt it so our goal is always to get people in get them hooked and then put them in places like a bass tournament to keep them going friend of mine that was here the, for the first time this year and uh, he said man there's a lot of people doing in the bank division aren't there and I said yeah because some of these people aren't able to get in a boat they're not stable enough uh, and, and but they still got an opportunity to go down and fish we give them a wide berth we try not to get in their way so having this dock I think almost sets a different standard of um, how it should be done because we have a covered area, nobody's out in the heat, um, we're secure from the elements, and it, it's ultimately on a secure place where we know that they're going to be able to get fish. There's no rods or anything going through the water that's going to, you know, tangle them up, and they're still able to be with the community. They're close enough where people can go down there and talk. So I think putting this in and making that effort to help support this community was probably one of the best things they did for this area. A lot of people's kind of skeptical about coming out and doing this, but if they would just come out here and do this thing, they'd love it. They'd love it. The people's great. There's no strangers here. Uh, it's it's just a it's just a great event. Seeing the look on the guys' faces that have never been able to get out, especially since they've been hurt, uh, getting help loaded into a boat and having people take care of them the way we do. And, and all of the captains and the volunteers are all here for the fun and to make sure those guys have a good time. I'd like to have them catch fish, but the most important thing is to have fun. I love it. Is this your first year, second year? No, nah, this is probably my seventh year. We had fun. There it's you my go. first year, but it will not be my last. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. Good job, guys. Put his three fish back in there. What's your boat number? I need those three fish. <laughs> boat number 40. I think you had a good enough day yesterday, you know? No. I think so. There you go. Hold it right there. <laughs> there it goes. 3.43. 3.43 pounds for boat 17. <laughs> A big zero. Did you have a good day? We all had uh, the best time that a man could ever have. You, know. you meet new friends every time, and that's what it's all about. The guys that come in here, even, even the humanitarian fishermen, the ones that have left all those fish out there in the lake to keep swimming, uh, they've all got a smile on their face. And universally, as I've talked to, to the guys uh, and gals uh, going through, through the people here, not just this year, but years gone by, 
they just, I can't believe how friendly everybody is. I can't believe how nice everybody is to us. I mean, I don't know these guys from Texas. I'm a Redskins fan. Why would I care about a guy from Dallas, Texas? Because he needs some help and we're glad to do it. Mike said some nasty words to all the volunteers, but I'll say thank you for him. <laughs> we appreciate you, all of you. Thank you for being here. You know, it's different from tournament to tournament. There's some anglers out here competing for Angler of the Year. You know, so for them, there's this joyous moment of, okay, I've added more points. I'm, I'm making my mark, you know, and I'm that much closer to possibly being Angler of the Year. But then you have the novices or the people who haven't been fishing very long and to see them get an award just for being out there. And lots of times it's not about the money. They're just so happy that they've placed and now they have something to say, you know what, I came in first or second or third. So it's almost a, it's almost an instant encouragement to continue to doing it. And then by the next couple of years, you're like, I don't even care if I get an award, I'm out. <laughs> what I just did the last two days is I made a friend for life. You meet some guy that we spent the same time in Afghanistan together at the same base and didn't even know it. And we, we were on the same front lines together. It's, it's real, it's real, it's meaningful. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is you got to keep on supporting PDA because without them, we won't be having these good times. Thanks. You hear a lot of, you know, I do this because I need to get out of my house. I do this because I have to see other people who are also in the same situation I'm in. I do this to grow my support system and those are the successes that come out of this. They're all friends. If they haven't been here before, they're all friends by the end of it. They all support each other and I feel like that's what these bass tournaments do. And especially this one, you know, eight years of doing it, there's a lot of familiar faces. The choice was mine to make, go back the way I came. I'll keep moving, never looking down. Never looking down. So I climb that mountain just to see what was on the other side. On the other side. Thank God. Thank God for mountains. Without them, I'd have never touched the sky. I climb that mountain just to see what was on the other side on the other side well, thank god thank god for mountains without them i'd have never learned to fly